Right, Biffleswick Dam, here we go. Let's see if there is a hippo here. Ah! So, not a hippo, but our Ellie's that I was tracking all the way up the Mulawati are here, which is wonderful news. Hello, Ellie's. It looks like they've finished drinking and are departing, and my hippo is here as well at the same time. So we've got all of the individuals that were leaving signs that have made their way slowly but surely into this area. So the Ellie's look as though they're just, just starting to leave now. They're starting to head south. I can see some right in the distance that are heading down back the way we've just come, unfortunately. So it's going to be a long process to keep up with them, but they are going down towards Nyala Road again. So at least we have found them and we'll get onto the back of them and follow them around for a little bit. It's a, it looks like quite a nice size herd. I can see them spread all across from the dam wall here down through the drainage and into the thickets where they're starting to feed. So what we will do is just keep up with them as much as we can and try and enjoy them. So that whole vista that we're seeing there, there's actually Ellie's dotted around inside the thicket. So nice big grouping that we're going to try and follow and spend some time with because it's beautiful weather it's a nice time of day it's nice time to watch ellies they'll feed they're going to be fairly happy that the sun is out Ooh. hello hornbill careful beep beep thank you so hornbill just had to get out the way a little bit so they can follow our elephants along that's a nice surprise I wasn't sure they would be here this morning I was hoping we were saying earlier that if there's a bit of sunshine generally the Ellie's do come out and they will start heading towards water but this is a big herd this is not a small grouping at all already I can probably see 20 30 individuals so really nice grouping and we like I say going to try and follow them as we go through this thicket it's it's it's, it's gonna be quite dense and I want to just give them a bit of space before I crash over any trees so there's that they don't get a fright and start moving away but you can see in front of me there is a lot of elephants in this area and it's amazing how well they camouflage those gray coloration in amongst these thickets is really quite incredible how they disappear it's a large animal you would think it would be easy to see but alas in thickets like this they can be quite tough and that's why we sometimes do even drive past them if you can imagine that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find a way through here that I can get just a little bit more in front of them and we can watch them drifting past us. And so while I do that, I believe Jamie, she is still around and about inside the Mara. She's left her hyenas and I think she's just bumbling about much like what I have been doing the whole morning. Well, the last little bit anyway. And so hopefully she will have some success.